Hey guys, and welcome back to another analysis to Brett's vlogs. Now, obviously, uh, obviously at the moment I am doing a vlog, and now why not do the analysis of Manchester United versus Fenerbahce in last night's game? Well, in last night's game, we play, I think we played really well, uh, considering we two scored two goals uh, on a penalty, uh, one after another. I was really surprised we got two penalties last night. Uh, Pogba put away his goal really well. Uh, Martial just got away with his goal. Just, just It was close of being saved, but it still went in. Uh, then Pogba went and scored three, uh, his third goal right at the end of half time uh, before it was half time so yeah I was really happy that Pop was coming back in form now obviously people were saying yeah what a waste he was at the start of the season well yeah that, this is the time now where he's settling into the club now and getting back into it so obviously he rested he rested uh, he arrested uh, Rashford and Ibra I thought we were going to see Ibra on that pitch last night in case if we needed him but obviously he didn't play him because obviously he wanted to obviously rest him and play him for Chelsea and the same thing with Rashford I would say so yeah just saving those two for the for the big game against Chelsea and he uh, did he did two, he did a lot of squad changes since the last game against Liverpool uh, so yeah I think we played really well last night, considering we did uh, concede one goal. Uh, even though Van Persie did score, it's good for him to come back to Old Trafford to score on the pitch. Uh, even though he didn't celebrate, he did clap, and so did the rest of the fans, and so did Alex Ferguson. So yeah, considering that, I think um, when they brought in m &E for Fenerbahce, I think he was a bit of a dangerous man, because I know he's dangerous. Now, obviously, some people didn't think he was dangerous. Well, he is dangerous. So, really, someone crossing a really good ball to him, whipped it in, and there was two versus one, uh, and Imanike uh, then crossed it into Robin Van Persie. Shaw was covering Van Persie, but didn't cover him enough to get the ball off him, and then which then gave uh, Van Persie... Uh, to score an opportunity really and the goal was wide open he went and scored but De Gea was there though but he should have tra uh, should have responded to that but I think De Gea was miles away but obviously he was putting it down to his defenders again uh, so yeah I say we just played really well we just needed to keep our heads up uh, in the next game against Chelsea it's a big game again against Chelsea and uh, yeah that's all from me uh and considering we did score two penalties last night, it was really good. I tried staying up last night. Uh, I watched most of the game. I fell asleep for 12 minutes and didn't realise that I thought we won 4-0, but in the end it ended 4-1. I'm, I'm glad for Robin Van Persie to score back at Old Trafford, really. So, yeah, uh, considering that, that's all for me, for my analysis, for the analysis from last night's game. Obviously, I don't have a list with me today because I obviously watched the game last night and uh, it wasn't like with Liverpool because obviously that was nil-nil and this was a different game. Some people thought it was going to be a boring game last night, but it turned up not to be a boring game because there was five goals in it last night. So, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, get those thumbs up, and I'll see you guys, uh, obviously, in today's vlog and I'll get it out as soon as possible. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys very later and peace.